Good morning, Corey. Brian Gallagos here from Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. Just wanted to reach out and uh, say thanks again for your inquiry. I wanted to shoot you a little video uh, of one of the Traverse options that we have here. Uh, this is a 2020, this is a 1LT. So the beautiful thing about these vehicles is they all come with remote start now, which is super awesome. Makes those, uh, makes those cold winter days a little more, more tolerable when you get into a vehicle. That's uh, that's already been started, nice and warmed up for you. Now there's a button on the key fob right here. If we click that twice, it's gonna open this tailgate automatically for us. We can cruise around in the back here. We can see we got tons of extra storage space as well as additional storage space right there, which is super neat. And we pull those little straps down. That's gonna knock these headrests forward, put the seat forward, uh, be able to lay those down flat, flat. Uh, same with those. Except there's a little lever on the on the sides there on the corners, um, so we can fit a ton of stuff in here. My wife and I have uh, made a couple IKEA runs and Costco runs in our Traverse, and uh, we've just always had plenty of space, which is super nice. Now coming around to the middle, I wanted to show you there's a, there's a nice amount of space right here, lots of leg room. Um, I'm a little taller, so I wouldn't personally fit back there, but there's tons of space for kids. Um, and then right here, we do have the uh, climate control option for, for anybody riding in the back seat here, as well as a couple of USB outlets so we can all stay connected, stay charged. Uh, you know, that's the day and age we live in. Now, you do have the blind spot monitors on this one. That's what that little car symbol is. So that's going to flash, or not flash, it's going to shine uh, a yellow light. Let us know when somebody's in our blind spot. Makes, uh, makes changing lanes a little bit easier. Now, coming around in here start this baby up officially as the engine runs put the electronics down oh hello somebody was jamming oh i love it that's a good track though let me turn this down real quick all right here we go so now on this little dash we can scroll over we got this info page we've got trip a trip b we can see our fuel range we got 96 miles until we're empty right 100 percent oil life we can see a tire pressure sensor on each tire air filter life, average fuel economy. You can set a timer if you want to. Uh, on this page, our home page, we've got how many miles an hour we're traveling, which is zero. I'm not driving. Driving and filming is not a good idea. <laughs> I got 96 miles until I need to fill up. We've got four miles on the vehicle. Uh, what's really nice about this is I remote started it, as you saw, and it's cold out. So I just got inside and the heated steering wheel and heated seats have automatically turned on it read the temperature inside of here and it said hey it's a little chilly i want you to be cozy this is, a, this is a nice car it's a considerate car it's looking out for us we do have our collision control with forward automatic braking right here so um if somebody slams on their brakes in front of us and we don't notice a little red light's gonna flash right here it's gonna beep if we don't do anything uh the car's smart it doesn't want to get into an accident it's gonna slow us down by itself awesome absolutely love it now we do have dual climate control in this. So if you run cold and they run hot, we can set that however we want. You push that sync button. If you're driving solo, it's gonna automatically sync to whatever the driver's setting is, okay? Now I wanted to come up here on this touch screen, show you some of these neat features. Now you can pair your phone via Bluetooth and we can listen to our, uh, our audio via Bluetooth as well. So we can listen to uh, Spotify, Pandora, uh, Google Play Store, Apple Music, whatever it happens to be. With Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, when you plug into one of those USB ports right there, you're going to have access to uh, to a second phone screen, essentially. Not all of the apps transfer, as they don't want you like playing games or watching videos or anything like that while you're driving. Got to be safe out there. But you will have uh, Google Maps, and you'll have uh, a weather app, and you'll have text messages, and uh, a ton of different other uh, pretty neat options, which I really like. Coming down here, we got our two-wheel drive four-wheel drive you can engage four-wheel drive uh the all-wheel drive as you're driving so you don't have to stop put it into park all of that stuff like the old days the old days all you got to do is while you're driving you get a little squirrely like oh man it'd be really nice if i had all-wheel drive just flip that switch really quick boom you're good to go this is our lane keep alert right here that is going to alert us if we start to go over the dotted lines without a blinker on like i said the car's smart it doesn't want us to doesn't want us to get into an accident now we got rear climate control options right here, so we can shut that off. I know my nephews, 
uh, a little bit younger, they like to push buttons and play with stuff. So you can set this to whatever you want and then lock it right there. So they can push all the buttons back there and they can turn all the dials, but they won't do anything. Uh, or you give them, uh, give them ultimate control, make them feel like they're in charge for, for just a moment. <laughs> Another cool thing we got right here is you push that button and this pops up and we've got added uh, added additional little storage space. So if y'all are on a hike or something like that and you wanna stash some uh, stash some valuables away, you got an option right there. And then of course, you're gonna get a free trial of OnStar with this. And with uh, that free trial of OnStar, this vehicle is a Wi-Fi hotspot. Anyways, Corey, this thing is awesome. I've got this one here. I got this one right here and we've got tons of other options as well. So I'd love to invite you down to the dealership, take a look with me. Uh, take a test drive and see what you think of the Traverse. Like I said, I have one. I love it. Uh, it's probably the most favorite vehicle I've ever owned, ever. Um, again, this is Brian, Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. Corey, I really appreciate your time. I look forward to hearing from you and working with you real soon.